The technology sector has been on a hiring spree for years, but recent events have seen a major downturn with big tech firms such as Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, Tesla and Netflix firing thousands of their employees just in the second quarter of 2022. Thousands of employees, especially in Africa, the hardest hit continent are in for tough times. But what if I tell you that all the economic hardship associated with a job loss could be averted by venturing into the agri sector of animal husbandry as an alternative source of income? This could also cushion this effect of massive layoff to the general economy and encourage productivity that we as humans should be known for. Welcome to Animal Farm Africa, and in today's episode, we will be diving into the various types of easy to start livestock farming and also looking at the best to start with a low capital. Don't forget we are here to guide every beginner on their farming journey with the help of our weekly episodes and all you need to do to access this free guidance is to subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell to be alerted on new video releases. Also, slide into our comment section with your questions and get an answer to your farming problems and challenges immediately. Now on to today's topic. But firstly what is livestock farming? It is the process of breeding animals in a systematic manner usually in controlled environments. Animal husbandry, which is another name for livestock farming, is a rapidly growing business especially in Nigeria and the primary reason why more entrepreneurial farmers are venturing into livestock farming is its profitability. A lot of you may ask why livestock farming? As long as humans continue to exist, there will always be a need for food and the two major sources of food are from crops and animals. When you think about the clusters of huge population around your immediate environment, you will immediately begin to get the picture why livestock farming business could be a good idea. Take for example the Nigerian community depends mostly on meat, especially from cows and chicken. Meat in Nigeria is an important part of daily meals as with most countries, and a good proportion of household food budgets are expended on meat and related products. Imagine you being able to meet this high demand. Now to even succeed as a livestock farmer you need to possess some qualities that successful livestock farmers have in common, because while livestock farming is profitable, it can also be hard and require grit at the beginning phase. The first of this quality is commitment. For any venture in life to be successful, livestock farming included, the founder must be very committed to his or her vision. A successful livestock farmer has to be hardworking. It can be backbreaking work. When you think about taking care of animals from day one till they grow up to reproduce, you'll see that it's not an easy task, even though you could employ some people to manage your farm. Other characteristics of successful livestock farmers are proactiveness and a test for knowledge. One person does not know it all, and for a farmer to be successful, he cannot rely absolutely on his own knowledge alone. There is constantly evolving scientific and business information out there on how to make livestock farming more profitable and better, and a livestock farmer worth his salt will seek to learn the latest techniques and methods. A few other non-negotiable attributes are discipline, doggedness, and goal-mindedness. Now we will be looking at some easy-to-start livestock farming. We will be briefly looking at poultry farming, pig farming, fish farming, snail farming, rabbit farming, and what is needed to start immediately. For more detailed answers you can ask questions in the comment section. As always, demand drives supply, even in the commercial livestock farming industry. Below, we take a brief but closer look at each animal bred for consumption. To know more about them and to see how we can help to train you to start any of them, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and suggest topics to discuss in our future episodes in the comment section. The first on the list is fish farming and here is why. Catfish is considered a delicacy in Africa and has no cultural or religious restrictions. That makes the demand for the product very high. The potentials of catfish farming in Africa are endless, and established fish farmers say that it is possible to recoup investment quite quickly. Before starting your own fishery business you will need a piece of land, fish ponds, borehole and overhead tank, this will serve as the water reservoir for the fishes. Fingerlings 
In buying fingerlings please make sure to buy fast growing and disease resistant breeds. Before beginning a catfish farming business, here are a few pointers to consider. Decide what size your farm will be, and the size will determine if you already have the necessary capital or you need alternative sources of funding. Secondly, since your objective is to make profit, you have to investigate the level of demand for the catfish in your desired market area. And once you have done your market research, you will understand how many numbers of catfish you're likely to sell per month. The next step is to try to know your monthly cost. This includes one-off expenditures such as building of fish tanks and recurrent expenditures such as fish feed and medication. Continue to increase your knowledge base about catfish breeding and farming, not forgetting the marketing, so that your business can be profitable. The next type of farming we will take a look at is pig farming. Pig farming has begun to become popular among livestock farmers in Nigeria in recent times. Pork, the byproduct of the farms, is said to fetch an annual revenue of 50 billion in countries like Nigeria. Smart investors and entrepreneurs are taking advantage of the huge demand for pork, and since pigs reproduce in large numbers and grow very fast, it is a good idea. A single pig can have a litter of as much as 10 piglets at a time, making it one of the fastest reproducing livestock in the world. Before starting your own pig farming, you will need a piece of land for breeding, it is advisable to secure a piece of land in the rural areas. Land is cheaper there, and the pigs can root around in the fields once in a while. Standard pens, to house the pigs. This must have proper drainage to eliminate bad odor and diseases. You will also need a water pool, while this is optional, it is important to note that pigs like swimming, and being able to keep cool is necessary for their well-being because pigs are not sweating animals. Lastly you will need healthy piglets. For pig farming you might need to secure the services of vet doctors for regular checkup and vaccination as well as feeding and nutrition advice. Employ some workers for assistance, as pig farming can be labor intensive. Lastly, feeding is very important, pigs eat a wide variety of food, but they need a balanced diet like humans do. Their diet should contain fiber, energy, protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals in order for them to thrive. Third on the list is poultry farming and here is why. Poultry farming business is part of the animal husbandry which is as old as mankind itself. This aspect of livestock farming presents one of the finest opportunities for entrepreneurs to make good money within the shortest period of time possible. This is made possible due to the quick maturity of chickens and turkeys. There is also that overwhelming demand for eggs on a daily basis. A farmer might start poultry farming either for the meat of the chicken and turkey, or for the eggs that the chicken can lay. Before you start, you will need a piece of land to set up pens or chicken houses. Housing is very important for chicken rearing and effective keeping and management. Poultry housing is classified according to the scale and the management system. Next you will need to procure chicks and equipment such as feeders, drinkers, nests, crates, lighting system, waste disposal system, incubator, heaters or brooders, egg tray, cages and coops. A few pointers to establishing your poultry. Firstly, decide on the type of bird you want to concentrate on. While the most common bird reared is the chicken, some farms also breed turkeys, geese and ducks. Next you need to decide on your area of interest, choose your exact area of focus. This may be layers breeding which is egg production by layers, broilers breeding which refers to the chicken meat production by broilers, turkey breeding which refers to turkey meat production by turkeys, and hatchery which has to do with breeding chicken for the purpose of hatching new chicks. Also important is the location. A location in a very remote rural area will cost far less than the one close to the urban area. My personal favorite but fourth on the list is rabbit farming. Rabbit rearing is a business that requires less space and can therefore be done anywhere. The capital investment is relatively small. You will however need to have an in-depth knowledge of how to raise the animals and do extensive market research to determine who your customers are. 
Every single part of the rabbit is useful, from the skin which is used for leather production, to its furs which are used for clothes manufacturing and meat for consumption. Before you start your rabbit farming business, you will need cages or hutches. These should be able to protect the rabbits from heat and humidity. Feeders and drinkers. Kits also known as baby rabbits. You will also need feed. This may be processed feed or edible vegetables and leaves, elephant grass, potatoes and different kinds of herbs. And last on the list but not the least is snail farming. Snail farming is one of the cheapest and very profitable farming to start that is why we created a playlist to guide you on how to go about it and all you need to do is subscribe to this channel so that when more videos guiding you on how to set up a snail farm are uploaded weekly on the snail farming playlist you will be notified. In conclusion, livestock farming is an easy way of gaining employment and providing income. When properly run, it is very lucrative. It helps in feeding humanity. It can serve as a source of export income increasing the value of a country's economy. But don't forget, you have to be willing to put in the required work hours to make a profit. Also, when there is a lack of knowledge or appropriate know-how, it can lead to loss of income and savings. Watch out for other exciting episodes coming to you, courtesy of Animal Farm Africa, your number one source of research farming knowledge in Africa.